I am Jessa from iPad Rehab here with Mark from iPad Rehab, and we're going to show you how to fix your boot looping iPad 7. iPad 7s that are in beautiful condition that haven't been dropped are just dropping dead like flies. And it starts out like this. Your iPad with all of your information, maybe you're an artist and it's filled with your Procreate drawings. We see that a lot for data recovery. All of a sudden, Apple logo, and then it just goes to a black screen. If you put this iPad in recovery mode and you try to update the software with iTunes, it fails with error 4013. This is an epidemic and we've figured out the solution reballing the CPU. There's something about the CPU where it just goes bad on some connection between the CPU and the board. The solution is to lift off that double layered CPU, make new tiny little solder balls, clean up all of the underfill, and then solder it back on the board. And Mark, our CPU specialist, is gonna show you how to do that right now. So get ready to enjoy the zen art of CPU reballing with Mark to fix your iPad 7. Okay, so we've got the board in the board holder and first step is remove the CPU. The CPU is the brain of the device and it must function in order to decrypt the user data stored in the NAND. Each CPU is unique to each mobile device that's storing protected data. Moving the CPU or reinstalling it is more art than science, and each artist uses their own palette of temperature, times, nozzle, and pressure that's developed through practice. Mark and I use different temperatures to do this exact same job on this exact same station. Each artist must find their way to their own signature style through consistent practice. When every step goes well, as it often does with experience, it looks easy and in real time, pretty boring. CPU rework is always detailed. It's always tedious. The artist goes into a zen-like trance examining each edge, each pad, each ball, one by one, step by step, to ensure precision and perfection. The process can take maybe an hour or two, or it can take all day to troubleshoot if there's problems. The recipe to learning successful CPU rework is simple. The magic is practice. Practice with a large stack of boards that are not important to anyone that don't have data on them. Some time and some patience and commitment to practicing perfectly. Um, you may notice that uh, I'm, I'm missing some little capacitors here on the bottom of the CPU, uh, but they're not important. We can, we'll just throw some green UV mask over those a little bit later and it'll be fine. We'll keep the two that are still on there. Um, so now the next step is removing the glue from the CPU and the board. Uh, to do that, I'm going to have the CPU in the universal board holder available at iPadRehab.store. Um, I'm going to be removing the glue with our uh, iPad Rehab Dumont tweezers.
Okay, so that went well. Uh, next step is to reball the CPU. Um, but first I'm going to use some of the uh, green UV curable solder mask from iPadRehab.store to cover up the pads where the capacitors used to be on the bottom of this chip. Um, now, if, if the capacitors make it through the cleaning process, when I'm cleaning the bottom of the chip, then I'll keep them on there. But if, if they give me any trouble at all, they're gone. And it doesn't cause any problem at all. So that went well. Uh, CPU is now reballed. Uh, the balls are consistent, which is what we're looking for. Nobody's too big, nobody's too small. Uh, the stencil I've been using, uh, I'm not convinced it's the best option. So we're going to be trying out some new stuff. Um, I think there are some better options out there for particularly for CPU reballing. So keep an eye on the website. Our recommendation may be changing. Uh, so now the final step is put CPU back on board.
All right, so the CPU's on. Uh, that, I felt like that went pretty smoothly. Uh, so now we're going to inspect. All right, so I think we are ready to test this. All right, looks good to me. Are you ready to put it in the housing and get the moment of truth? Let's find out if you were able to cure that boot loop with CPU Reball. Man, plugging these things in is awkward when I'm not doing it under a camera. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that plugging those things in is is just about as hard as reballing the CPU. It's it's a close second. It's a, it's close. And the All right, third I'll hardest would be finding the battery screw after it falls Locating on the floor. Locating the battery screw, yes. <laughs> Knowing where the battery screw is when you're ready to test. That's that's a tough one. All right. Do you know where the battery screw is? I it's do. right there. I do, but now I don't know where the Phillips screwdriver is. Mm -hmm. huh. We're going to need a third person. <laughs> Katrina! I may have said it. <laughs> ah, it's in my lap. It's in your lap. Here's my pro tip. The battery screw, always stick it on the magnetic housing, and then you'll always know where it is. And it's surprisingly important. That battery has got to make contact in order to actually... Figure out if it's going to boot. And before you lay that down, let me plug it in. Okay. I think I'm just going to hold it. There we go. All right, so the last time we saw this iPad, it was showing the Apple logo and then going to that dark black depressing screen, the boot loop. It's already staying on longer. Pretty satisfying to see that Apple logo. So at least you're back to how you were. Let's see. Ooh, I see it brightening That's up. That's what I like to see. I like to see that. Come on. Do you have to like cuss it a little or does it just boot up on its own? I usually the cussing is done during the reballing process. <laughs> There we go, we're at the lock screen. All right. Awesome! We are back and all of that artwork is saved. There you go, iPad 7. Sudden death, boot looping for no reason, fails to update or restore with error 4013. Needs a CPU reballing just like you saw Mark do. Good job, Mark. I'm proud of you. Nice work. And if you need us to work on your iPad 7, you know where to send it. Go to www.ipadrehab.com and click the big red Get Started button. You can talk to us anytime online. And if you want to try this yourself, you can come learn how to microsolder at our classes or buy the stuff that you see us using in all of our videos. What we sell on our store is the stuff that we're using. And if we don't use it, we don't sell it. So that's how you can get started and we'll see you in the next video.